This is Baylor from ScoobyDooByDoo.com, and this is going to be part six in the modern CMS. So this should be the last part, and what we're going to do is make it so we can edit these posts. Now you'll notice mine have changed tremendously since the last few screencasts because I accidentally uh, messed up on my last screencast and didn't update it by a specific ID, and I updated it all of them and messed it up. So um, what we're going to do is go into our CMS class under the manage content function and change this link to the edit to a file called update content.php question mark ID is going to be equal to our row ID okay and uh, I'm going to remove this file because you don't need to see it yet and so let's go to add content.php and copy everything inside of this file and create a new file inside our admin called updatecontent.php and paste it in here. And we'll go ahead and close our add content. And so inside the updatecontent.php, you can see we have the exact same file that is our, up, our add content. Uh, but we want to change this to update content and this also to update content. So because it is uh, for updating content. So let's go ahead and cut this form out of the page. And uh, I'm going to put it inside a function that we're about to create called object uh, update content form. And we're going to pass through this an ID. Uh, actually, this is going to be get ID. Okay. And uh, the reason I'm doing it like this is because in our managed content, we have uh, in the URL. Uh, I, we're passing an ID through this as to which one we want to edit. So uh, the function needs to be created. That's why we have the error back there. So uh, let's go ahead and create that function. So at the bottom of my file, I'm going to create a function called update content form. And uh, this will be the ID. And what I want to do is go to our git content and take this ID and copy it and put it in here so we can go ahead and escape that ID and protect it. And uh, now we'll go ahead and run our SQL query. Select everything from CMS content where the ID is equal to our row or our ID. And we'll create our query. So my SQL query for SQL or die MySQL error. Okay, and since we're only getting one post or yeah post from our database, we we don't need to run a while loop. So we'll just do rows equal to MySQL fetch soch for our result. Now you could, if you wanted to, put this on multiple more lines than just five, four. Uh, but I'm just I'm not gonna comment like you should if you're doing this for real. So. Um, I'm gonna un I'm gonna go back to our add content and cut this form out from here because uh, I replaced my clipboard and uh, back into our CMS class I'm going to paste it and uh, we're going to change this to update because we're not adding to the database we're updating the database and I need to change my submit button again so. Uh, the only now we need to add an ID to this. So an input we're going to add input somewhere, and uh, this is going to be hidden. And uh, the name of this is going to be ID, and the value. So uh, the value of this is going to be equal to row ID. Okay. So uh, now we'll add a value to our submit button. So value equals row submit. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, to our text box. So this will be our title. And now to our body text area, we'll add row title body. I'm sorry, I'm messing up all terribly. But uh, so when we load this page, and you can see that we got. Uh, our first post, I'm pretty sure it is this one right here. So uh, let's go ahead and edit our second post because it just says great, huh? 
and we could change the text. Now, this won't do anything because we haven't created the file yet. There are our function to add to the database. So I'm going to go to our index page. And uh, you remember that we set it up. So if post add from, yeah, so if post add, uh, right now we're going to add an else if post update. And uh, this way we can do object update content and we're going to pass our post parameter through this or array I'm sorry and uh, let's go ahead and create the class for the, our function for that so this is the easy part I think because all we're doing is going to create our function update content and post our p parameters through this uh, the easy part was we'll go to add content and copy everything inside of this and uh, the reason we're doing that is because it's almost the exact same thing. We're just going to change one line, or actually a few lines. But uh, So I'm going to go back. We need an ID so we know which one to edit. So I'll copy our ID code right here. Um, so we'll paste that below. And uh, we're going to change this link to update content. And uh, we're going to add an ID to it again. So ID is going to be equal to ID. Okay. And now let's go ahead and change this cont load right here to uh, actually, you know what? This needs to be post ID like that because uh, we put that through our form element. So that should fix that. So back into our SQL code, we're going to do update uh, CMS content, and we're going to set the values to title equal to our new title, and our body equal to our new body. And this will add our where, the ID is equal to our ID. And uh, we'll change this to updated successfully. So let's go ahead and change this to just a lot of text like that and we'll choose update content it says it was updated successfully now let's go view it and you can see my second post has a new body to it so let's go ahead and edit the title of it to uh, a random post and uh, we'll update the content manage it and you can see it says it's a random post so that's all we need to do for this screencast thanks for watching and goodbye